Today we're going to use Adobe Animate to create a writing effect. Start off with a blank canvas and the stage can be whichever color you would prefer. Start off by choosing our brush tool and then you'll need to change your paint bucket color to whichever color you would like to write your name in. You can usually get pretty good writing results if you change smoothing to 100. It will self-correct a lot of your not smooth movements that you normally would make with a mouse. Once you've written your name the way you like it, go ahead and change your layer name to name. Then lock your layer so you don't mess it up and create a new layer on top of it. And that is going to be our mask. On our mask layer, we'll also want the brush tool. Pick a different color so that you can see a contrast between the color you choose and the color you wrote your name in. You will never see this color, so it doesn't matter which color you choose for stylistic purposes. Just make sure it's something that's visible. And then what you'll do is you'll cover part of the name that you wrote at the beginning. And you'll do this just like you're drawing your name. After you do the first piece, you're going to want to create a new frame. The easiest way to do this is to press F6 on your keyboard to create a new keyframe on your mask layer. And your name layer should be extended to match it. So now with our slightly longer layer, I'm going to add another piece. Press F6, add another piece. Now, when I get to this part, I don't want to uncover this part because I did the line here first before I came back up and did this part of the M. So on my new frame, I'm actually going to take the line tool and I'm just going to draw a straight line here so that I don't cover any of that part. I can use my magnifying glass and draw a box around this section to zoom in on it to make it easier for me to work on it. Use my brush that's the same size and I'm going to go down that line without crossing it. Press F6. Down my line again. F6 again. Make a straight line. F6 again. Make a straight line. If you have any line left over, go ahead and clear it out so it's not on the rest of your frames. I'm going to zoom back out to 100% to make this a little easier. Back to my brush. Cover a piece. F6. 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 Now you'll notice that it's fine for this to be to look bad on the edges because when I add my mask, the only part I will see is the part underneath. I'm going to undo my mask so I can go back to working on this. If you did put a mask on it to check it, you'll have to unlock that layer to work on it again. When you're doing this, you want to simulate that you're writing. So when I drew this, I came down and then I came back up. But there's a pause between here and when I get to here before I start writing the next part. So I'm going to skip a couple frames before I hit my next keyframe. If you skip a space, you're going to have to insert a frame on your name layer to make it match. Make sure you're back on your top layer when you start drawing the next part. Zoom back in here, use another line, And then just remember to press F6 on each little piece that you add. I'm going to skip a smaller section here because it's a smaller distance to travel on this part of the M to this part of the M.
and make sure there's a gap between your letters. So new keyframe. The keyboard shortcut for insert a frame for your name layer is F5. So F5 is insert frame. F6 is insert keyframe. F7 is insert blank keyframe if you ever need that. And F8 converts something to a symbol. Skip a space. Zoom back out to 100%. Skip a little space for my period. That shouldn't take but maybe a frame or two if you have any dots in your name. Skip another little space for the next letter. Once you get to the end where you finished, skip a little bit, maybe 40 frames or so, and just insert a frame on both layers so that you have a pause after it's done to see the completed thing. You don't want to end your animation right as it finishes and go back to the beginning where it's blank. Once we've covered the whole name, we'll add a mask to the top layer. Press Control Enter to preview it. And this is what we have. Once you're happy with your project, go to File, Save As. I'm going to name this Writing Effect. Save. Go to Publish Settings. Click our folder. Website Animate is where we want to save our writing effect. Hit Publish to create our files that will show up in Dreamweaver. Hit OK. You can go ahead and save that. Close Animate. And then our writing effect will be in our Animate folder in our website in Dreamweaver. Refresh your file list if it's not there right away. Take your HTML file, drag that to the bottom of your index, save your index, upload your animate folder, and then you should be able to see that on your website. Check the website, and then we see the effect running on there.